Peace, man. Peace, man. Peace. Back at it. Conductor Chops. I'm having fun. I'm having a lot of fun with uh, this doing, making these videos, man. This is dope. This is very dope. I took to uh, Instagram to kind of get some topics to talk about because I enjoy talking to y'all. And uh, so I took to Instagram. I'm like, yo, what y'all want me to talk about? I'm on YouTube doing this thing. I don't know if it's a podcast. I don't know what, how, what, or how God is working um, through me with this. I don't know. But what do y'all want me to talk about? And uh, got a bunch of questions, a bunch. So I just, I'm just gonna grab in there, get one out, and uh, talk about it. So let me find one that I like. Just kind of freestyle here. All right. So. DRG, maybe Dr. G, zero three nine says, "What do you look for in a sample? How do you break in? How did you break into the industry and connect with Griselda?" All right, so I connected with Griselda. Um, Westside Gun found me on Instagram. Don't know how he did to this day, and um, I was ready. And that's basically it. He looked through the videos that I was posting on Instagram. He liked it. Liked one. Liked two. Liked three. I was ready. Boom. You like this one? Boom. Here it is. You like the okay, here. Like it wasn't a um it's in my it's still it's still in the box. Uh you know, whatever. It was like, no, I already had them in a drop box ready to go. So, um I was prepared. The timing linked up and I was ready to go and then then after that, our relationship friendship developed with West Side Gun. Like I said, in the previous video, one of my favorite people to be around and I'm glad that I linked up with a, a person like him and got in the industry through Griselda because those guys are family, all of them, every last one of them. So uh, I'm thankful for that. So the front of this question is what really intrigued me. And that was, what do you look for in a sample? And I want to add to that and say, how, how do you find a sample? Um, how did I start finding samples? That That's what really like, got my brain to going about this man straight up my boy Callie Nate brought the MPC 2000 to my house one day sat it down and was like here like, what is this he's like you like music we already making music this is a beat machine I didn't know anything about this hey yo I had no idea what he just sat down in front of me it was like some alien contraption like I had no idea and um I didn't know how to get sound in it. It had a little disc, and I loaded. I remember loading the disc up, and it had the uh, stock drums on there, kick, a snare, hi-hat, crash, cymbal, uh, whatever, you know, a shaker sound, a, a triangle. And I, and I remember just being like, yo, these sounds are like, these is kind of like smacking. Um, at the time, I had a Cork Trident LE. I had the Cork Trident LE. And, um, and I still got that mug, man. Hold up. My first piece, man. My first piece. My first piece, man. My first piece of gear. Uh, my first piece of gear. Y'all probably can't see this at all. Maybe you can't see a little bit. This thing is like a monster, man. They used to build monster machines. But this is the Cork Triton LE. There was a record store back then. This is this is circa 2002 or three. I went to a record store called Recycle Sounds, and the guy in there, I took it with me. I'm carrying this big ass MPC around, and I sat it in there, like, "Yo, can you help me with this? What is this?" And the guy never used one, but he played in bands, so he gave me the he gave me the uh, the the breakdown of the machine so this is how you get sound in through these inputs and these are quarter inch inputs these are the outputs so these go to your speakers he's like outside of that i don't know so my intro to finding sounds was just knowing how to get how to get it to record and um with that alone i started plugging in anything and it was just this very like childlike moment that I'll never forget and I, that's why I'm so thankful for this question to 
make me think about those times again of just being innocent and and um and dumb you know and and just not knowing having no idea the innocence of not knowing but being willing to experiment is how you get magic man that's how magic happens i feel so um i knew how to get sound in it so let's see what happens when i hook a vcr up and i i don't really got anything else i got a cd player so let's see if i can hook that up and sample off of a cd and what does this knob do what does this knob do and that's that's how i developed my style and i'm thankful for that because it gave me what you guys hear of my music now it gave me my personal style and then so to get to the question what do you look for in a sample i i don't look with my eyes or my ears i look for something that feels like how i'm feeling in that time you know so i'm only going for texture and feel those are my two first things you know what is this thing what's the texture of this thing and what does it feel like what do i feel like and then i manipulate so um it could be anything man just looking for a feeling and what's really funny is i can go to a record store and i can get a big stack of records like this and it'd get a be a a cold soul record or something like that like an a crazy soul r&b record or something and i can put it on the record player but i don't feel like that that day and in the past i would force it and that's how i would run into like a writer's block or just negative feelings about myself as a producer i would just force it and then i learned like yo I just don't feel like hearing soul music today. I feel quirky today. I feel um, industrial today. I feel like making something that I I never heard before. Let's turn the let's turn the keyboards on. And I that is how I learned to manipulate and draw the space closed of always staying inspired and always being creative is because I'm just going with how I feel instead of saying, no, I got to make, I got to make a boom bap joint today. I got to do a drumless soul joint today. I got to make something that, um, you know, West Side Gun or Rome Streets or somebody can rap on. I have to make that stuff. Like, I don't think like that. I just follow the, the, the wave of, of the river. You know, I just follow that stream and, um, put the soul record on if i'm not feeling that way take the soul record off sleeve it put it down grab another record just keep it moving so kind of answers that question man um much love to uh dr g i'm just going to call it dr g uh for uh, for giving me the inspiration to, to drive down memory lane and remember my old friends but yeah let's keep this going this is fantastic let's keep this going and um throw some questions down in the comments i'm gonna scoop them out and i'll see y'all again next time conductor out Peace.